Welcome to the fourth part of our series of short videos on SUSE Manager 4. Today we're going to talk about patches and packages. So I've just signed back on again and we're now looking at the overview screen and this is my server. In the last couple of videos we built the server and we added a guest client to it. Since then I've added a second SLEDS 15 client. So we've now got two clients attached to the system and now when we sign on we start getting a bit more information. So scrolling down the page gives us a view of our most critical systems but since there's only two they're both critical of course and we can see that there's a bunch of updates available for them. Now there's more for one than the other, even though they are technically the same system. They're both SLEDS 15 Service Pack 1. The uh, lower one, SLEDS 15 Dev, I installed and taking the option to download all the latest repositories. There was a couple of days ago now and um, there's been a couple more patches added to it. But the top one, SLEDS 15 Test, when I installed it, I just installed it off the image that I had. It could be anything up to about a year or so old. There is a bit of a difference there. Scroll to the very bottom. Get a list of recently registered systems but I just want you to note the update sign so when there's any updates available for it there'll be either an exclamation mark um, in a circle or in the triangle means there's some um, bug fix updates so if it's a triangular sign with the exclamation mark um, they're non-critical as we saw at the top there it's got the uh, this critical updates now if you look across the top of the most critical systems we have the system listed in the left hand side and you can click on each one of those to get more information drill down find all sorts of information about it across the top there are software updates available the little exclamation mark and these are what they are critical non-critical and packages and that's the number if we go back to that first screen just the overview screen we can see the information on that's not quite as detailed, but it does give you some other clues. So we have 131 security patches. So security patches you would normally look at doing fairly soon. Bug fix patches should be done, but maybe not quite as critical as a security one. And there's also two enhancement patches available. Now enhancement patches are where we're adding new features function to the operating system. So they're just optional. If you want to look at patches and information about them, there's several ways you can do it. It's on the menu down the bottom here. With several options. We can look at all the patches. We see there's uh, just over 2,800 patches downloaded to the system and they are there because it's, they've come down as part of the uh, software channels you've selected. Now if you want to, if you look at relevant, it will show you all patches relevant to your current installed systems. Since mine are all up to date then there's nothing to show. You can search for patches if you look at something in particular. For example, we could search for kernel. Um, in all fields, we can narrow down those searches. We can bring up a list of, uh, of patches related to the kernel. In this case, there's 146 of them available. That covers several different uh, releases of SLEs. And we see on the side here, um, there's bug fixes. Uh, this top one that I'm pointing at at the moment uh, is a bug fix and it would need a restart the operating system to apply it. Some of these, this one here is um, security, as are these ones with the shields are. The different colors denote different priorities that you may want to give to installing those patches. And once again, anything with the circular arrows means a restart will be needed. You can manage patches. These are typically, if you're writing your own patches, maybe for your own applications and things like that, you can load them to SUSE Manager and apply those patches to the various affected systems. And uh, one last point before we leave this is anything that you see that's got hypertext, you can drill down on and get more information about it. And once again, you could draw deeper. When it 
it comes to patching, there is a lot of flexibility. You can patch individual machines, you can patch groups of machines, you can patch your entire landscape if you'd like, and you can do that automatically. You can patch it immediately. You can schedule it for patching at various times and dates and things like that. The system is very flexible. You can group your, mach your machines into system groups and work on those. You can work on them individually. You can um, patch just critical patches, non-critical patches, packages. You can do them individually. The, the choice is yours, whatever you require for your particular environment. And it's done through a simple graphical interface. Or else you can use the system set manager. You can work on many systems or um, a few chosen ones. We have um, three of our, two of our machines fully updated and our third one, which is the latest one we've added, there's a whole bunch of patches and packages that can be updated. So let's just finish off by doing that. I'm going to do it through System Set Manager. So I select it in the system list, go to System Set Manager, schedule packages to update, and I'm going to say I'm going to select them all. There's no reason in this case why I'd want to pick and choose but the options you also apply these patches confirm that then gives me some more do them all apply them Schedule to be applied. You can look at the scheduler. It's pending actions here. It's still working away on that. So in the background, it will just continue on and um, do its update. If we return to the systems overview, you can see the little timer here saying there's actions that have been scheduled and that will stay there until the uh, job is done. And it will come back hopefully with a nice green tick. Otherwise, it will come back and tell us there's uh, some more actions to be taken. So refresh the screen and here we are. Everything's looking great. We have our three Slayers 15 servers all patched and up to date. And that will stay like that until SUSE releases more patches, in which case you'll get the chance to do it all again. I'd like to finish off this video by talking about packages. Once you've installed your system, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that you may want to add some different packages to your systems at various points in time. All the packages in your, that are associated with your channels have been downloaded, so they're sitting through the manager server waiting to go. If you're looking to find something in particular, you can go to software, do a package search on that, and you can choose, how, look, free form, name only, name description, or name and summary. So let's do name description and let's look for KVM. Maybe we want to do some virtualization on one of our servers and obviously need the libraries for that. So we'll do KVM, search on that, and we find amongst the channels list there's 11 packages that might be associated with it. Being hyperlinks we can look at the description, look at the things involved in the packages. So there's a description here or a summary of, of what it is and I know from past experience that I'm looking for patterns for installing the a KVM server. Also need the KVM tools to actually install a package. One way we could do it, I only want to do it on one machine, so I can go and drill down on that machine, click on software, click on packages already selected here, install new packages, I'll do a search for KVM, I see the list that's appropriate to this particular release, I'll go and select my KVM server and KVM tools, and select install the packages. I can confirm my install or I could schedule it to happen at various points in time 
and up here it says there's two package installs have been scheduled. I can click on the scheduler and go down to schedule. Pending actions, they're still happening and I'll just have to wait for that to complete. So if we look at completed actions, a package install was um, completed. Tells me which system it was. And it tells me under the package list what products were installed. So that's pretty easy. In fact, SUSE Manager can make your life a whole lot easier.